Hey guys, uh, it's another tutorial on some advanced wavetable creation in Serum. Um, in this episode, we're going to be learning about the wavetable editor. And we're going to be using this to create new complex wavetables without resampling something inside it. Okay? Um, so we're going to use the FFT to do this. So we're going to make this a sign. It's kind of buggy. There we go. Um, so we got a sine wave. And the thing you can do with this is you can bring the framing all the way down and you can have free draw mode. So we're going to duplicate this and go right here where that... Uh, little graph is I draw a little bit and we may need to use this uh, draw mirror tool which is really amazing you could just duplicate duplicate what you're doing over here under the other side so do this again and again All right, so next we're going to drop this into our FFT. So it's mapped out all the harmonic content in this waveform. And we're going to manipulate it. Manipulate the phasing. The harmonics within it. But we want to keep this we want to keep this to a similarity of of the very first shape that we had, so we just keep manipulating it, take away harmonics, bring in harmonics. This is a good way to create for variation between tones in the in the frames. So we created something weird there. And bring in Another hot low octave. And the FFT, the the blacks are semitones, while the gray areas are octaves. If that makes sense. Same with the phasing. The phasing is hard to it basically takes each of these little sine waves are put at a higher frequency. It basically changes the phase of them making a uh, a more complex waveform in the editor. I do this for a lot of my wavetable cr creation. I don't really like resampling stuff in here from FM8 and all those things what those other artists do. I mean, if you have Ableton, you got Operator, you can make some complex stuff with that and throw it in the Serum. And, you know, you always have these harmonics over here, which are beyond hearing, which kind of do change the tone a little bit you'll kind of quiet it down kind of give it a fizzy kind of sound if that's what you're going for but i'm going for more of a bell bell type of tone with this one i like to modulate stuff with fm and if it's much easier for you you can also drop a single uh, cycle waveform from uh from packs in here you can like the, the, uh, I can't think of them right now, but there's a couple packs you can buy that you could throw their single cycle waveforms in here. I think, uh, Carbon from, uh, Massive is, uh, is built up of some of those waveforms in that, in that, uh, 
our texture pack that you can buy for about forty nine dollars fifty. Depends on the bit you get or the the quality of the wavetable uh, pack. So we're we're just gonna go with a good a good eight frames right now. We're gonna use a spectral morph to kind of morph between them. Um, this is just this is nothing really. I'm really trying to get here. I, I'm trying to just get something random. So so we have our wave sh our wave table. So now let's apply a uh, a morph to it. So now we got a full wave table now. And I've done this for a lot of stuff. I've used some single cycle waveforms to help me out. But I've done that with most of these right here. I've done some crazy stuff with the with, uh, FFT. And, you know, I don't think a lot of people at Serum really know the kind of power the FFT has. Sure, the formula can do cool stuff. And, you know, you can resample stuff you made in uh, other synthesizers. And, you know, you can resample your voice and that. And you can, you know, you can make some crazy stuff. Um, yeah, um, let's throw some FM on this. See if it... And the thing you should do, a little tip, is when you're using the FM uh, warp in Serum, you should really just bring down the random phasing. It'll sound a lot better. Alright, this is Sebastian with uh, Serum uh, Tips and Tricks. Um, please check out our Facebook page, uh, Axe for uh, Serum Power Users on Facebook, and have a nice day.